Good morning, guys. Welcome to a day in the life of Jada in quarantine. I give you my heart. Good morning. I am excited for this video. I actually stay very busy on quarantine days. I pretty much pack my schedule hour to hour. So I'm going to bring you guys along. You can sh see what I do to stay productive. Yeah, let's go. Now that I finished my vocal warm-ups, um, I'm gonna move on to monologues. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm an actress, and right now I'm working on two monologues for a college audition I have tomorrow with New York University. But right now I'm just gonna work on developing the characters, finding new angles that I can approach the different lines, etc., etc. I'm just trying to get better every day. Hi, my name is Jada Warner, and I will be performing a monologue from Jana Nui's Antigone. Happiness. What kind of happiness do you foresee for me? Paint me the picture of your happy Antigone. What are the unimportant little sins that I shall have to commit before I am allowed to sink my teeth into life and tear happiness from it? I'm currently using Avera Glow as my skin product, is that what you say? As my skin regimen. And the overnight mask is basically, it basically looks like you put sunscreen on. So that's why my face is so much paler. My face and my neck are so much paler than my body. Because I still have the mask on because I haven't showered or washed my face because I just wait till I work out. Is that gross? Because I do that every single day. But that's why my face is. 10 shades paler than the rest of my body. Hi, my name is Jada Warner, and I will be performing a monologue from Megan Mostyn Brown's Girl. Okay, so I walked to the Osco Drug, and thank God, thank freaking God, there's no one I know in the store, and I grab a brush, a bag of chips, a Coke, a copy of Entertainment Weekly. This monologue is supposed to be a comedic monologue. When I'm doing it, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, because I am not a funny person, and so comedic monologues and comedic timing is very challenging for me. And funny story, actually it's not funny at all, um, before my USC audition, which is my top school, I performed this monologue for my mother, who was there with me in LA for the audition. I performed it for her, you know, hoping she would boost my self-confidence, get me excited for my audition, you know, tell me how great it is, how any school would be lucky to have me. Performed it for her. She just sat there, no smile, no laugh, nothing. And afterwards I said, um, <laughs> that was supposed to be funny. And she was like, that, that, that one? That was supposed to be funny? Yes. Yes, it was. She was like, oh. And I, yeah, thanks, Mom. Okay, gonna go to my audition now. Thank you for making me feel so much better about myself before my audition. Thank you. Bye. True story. All right, I finished my monologues. I'm gonna go work out now. Got my Fabletics biker shorts on. I wear biker shorts like every single time I work out because I chafe so bad if I don't wear shorts that are long enough to make it so I don't chafe. So I wear biker shorts. And got my Nike sports bra and my Salsonese. Don't know how to say that brand. So I just totally butchered it and then said it in a funny voice so it was less awkward. <laughs>
out in the sun, my favorite thing to do in the whole entire world. It was a good workout, got some sprinting, which are not my favorite thing, but trying to get better every day. Now stretch and breakfast. Oh my gosh, my face is so red. And my face mask just seeps down my skin when I sweat, so it looks like I'm sweating milk. It's disgusting. But normally I eat breakfast right after I work out. I wanna refill my body as quick as possible. Um, but today my dad needs us all to look presentable for this promo that he's doing for Lowe's. I don't really know what it is, but I know that I cannot look like this, so I'm gonna shower and then eat. I'll show you guys what I have breakfast because it's delicious and I'm not allergic to it. If you don't know, I'm allergic to basically everything on this earth, but I can eat this breakfast and not get sick and it's delicious, so I will show you guys that. I've been exercising outside every day during quarantine because I'm not going to the gym. I'm not going to be outside in the sunshine. And look at my tan line from today. Literally one hour outside. That is insane. talk so don't get weirded out this is my breakfast I have every single morning I love it I have it every single morning don't I yes every single yes. morning can ask my family when I pull out the pancake maker maker is that a pancake maker skillet they all say oh it's time for pancakes I'm like yeah it's time for pancakes <laughs> okay I'm gonna enjoy this now bye bye okay I finished filming with my little sisters which was super fun but the video is gonna be so messy to edit because we were just like singing and dancing the whole time so I need to actually put it together into a concise video. But now I'm moving on to instrument. So um, every single day during quarantine, I've been playing the guitar for one hour and the piano for one hour because I wanna come out of quarantine being much, much better at playing the piano and guitar. So I do that every single day. So two hours of my day are playing instruments. She ain't got a lot to say, but there's something about her. Ooh, that does not sound good. Andy Crowley here again, and welcome to day seven of this 10 day guitar starter course. Now, D, E minor, C. Once we know we're using this method, keeping the third and middle finger down. Now, this is the first time we've used the third and middle finger. I think I need a five minute break because I am going to get very frustrated in about four seconds if I try to do this again. I will be back. Okay, this is my final performance. I'm going to move on to a different instrument after this because, um, yeah, I'm going insane. That's the best that I'm going to give you today, so I am done with that. My brain is exploding.
So basically, I'm going to spend the next hour uh, looking up YouTube videos and stuff to try to spice up this song because I don't really know how to play the piano. I just kind of kind of pick it up when I need to or when I want to sing a song that has the piano. Um, so I'm just going to try to look up videos about how you can spice up a chorus of a song or spice up the chord so that it sounds cooler because right now it's kind of boring, not going to lie. And um, I want it to be sick, so maybe at the end I will show you a revamped version of the chorus. Let's see what I can do. Let's see how this sounds like in a C major sounds chord. Awful. Uh, not doing that. Let's play. <laughs> These are so hard. Okay. Take 500,000,000. Just try to imagine what I'm going for. Just try. Just just picture what I'm doing a million times better, and then you're like, oh, that could maybe be okay. That's what I'm going for. That's literally all that I have. I have nothing more to give to this piano right now. Um, I'll just keep working on it and then hopefully by the time I finish the song, I will have mastered. Okay, I am done with instruments for the day. I am mentally exhausted because that was frustrating today, um, but I was supposed to have rehearsal right now, just over FaceTime with my scene partner, but he had to cancel on me. Joey, if you're watching this, don't make plans that you can't follow through with. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm just gonna do some individual work on my character for the next hour, um, and maybe read another play, and then um, dinner time and spend time with the family time. Picky, picky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, this is not know. She does not know this. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Oh my god. Before I go to bed, I like to unwind by reading. Right now I'm reading Becoming by Michelle Obama, which is so good. I've been wanting to read it for so long, but didn't have the time, so I'm on quarantine now, so I have the time. So I've been reading that, or I'll read a play, or, um, yeah, one of those two. And then I'll journal about my day, anything I'm feeling, just to let go of any stressors from the day so that I don't take them into the next day. Um, and then I'll plan my workout for the next day and head to bed. That is the end of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you're staying safe and healthy in quarantine and I will see you next time. Mwah, good night.